Welcome to this video about how to automize Shopware 6 deployments. My name is Kai Neuwert and I'm a developer in Shopware's enterprise development team. In this video, we want to talk about the fundamental steps it takes to deploy Shopware 6 to a certain infrastructure. I will focus on continuous deployment. This means that every approved change in your code base will be put live automatically. At the end of this video, you will know how to set up a continuous deployment pipeline for your Shopware 6 based project. This video only focuses on the continuous deployment after the initial setup of Shopware 6. So before we jump right into the topic, I just want to say that I'm assuming you already have a working Shopware 6 instance running. You should also have cloned the Shopware production repository. I'll talk a bit more about this repository in a few seconds. So what are the benefits of continuous deployments? That's indeed a very good question. I'd like to give you some good reasons for automizing deployments. I'll talk a lot about so-called pipelines in the next minutes. In case you don't know, pipelines are a predefined set of instructions that are executed when a certain trigger occurs. Most deployment pipelines will be triggered when new commits are pushed to a repository. Different versions of your applications can, of course, lead to different needs in terms of deployment. Let's take the execution of a certain script which clears caches after deployments as an example. With our new application version, the path of this file changes. In deployment tools, where you configure the deployment workflow independently of your application, you would have to recall to change the path of this file before the next deployment. So where might be a better place to store your deployment workflow? Exactly, in the application code base itself. A nice side effect of pipelines as code is that Git takes care of versioning the deployment workflow and that you can deploy old versions of your application with the correct dependencies. Also, the failure rate of automized deployments is much lower compared to manual deployments. Last but not least, automated deployments improve the overall productivity and allow the developers to focus on actual testing. Let's stay on the topic of productivity for a moment. Shopware provides a production template and a development template. Now we'll be using the production template for this example because we're not developing a plugin or on the Shopware core itself. This template is optimized for production usage and contains basic development tooling. It is intended as a basis for project customizations, which are typically done by agencies. And it's maintained by us and the great community. All dependencies are outsourced and fixed in the composer log file. The biggest benefit that it gives you is the ability of doing shopware updates very easily by just syncing your repository with the upstream repository on GitHub. Now that we have talked about the prerequisites, let's have a look into what needs to be done to build and deploy shopware step by step. The first step would be to clone your repository into the build workspace. After that, all dependencies should be installed. In our case, we're using Composer, the leading PHP dependency manager. We should also make sure that Node.js is installed on the machine on which we are building Shopware, which is, in the best case, not the machine we are deploying Shopware to. We need Node.js to build all the storefront and administration assets. Next, you could also add own steps to the build workflow, which are important for your specific project, like installing dependencies from custom plugins. Your build workspace is now ready for being deployed. As we don't want to base this video on any predefined infrastructure, this could be anything, a managed web server, a Kubernetes cluster, or just a Raspberry Pi which sits on your desk. In any case, you should just have a way to transfer files to your target infrastructure. After you have deployed the build workspace, it's time to apply migrations that might have come with your new application version. Another optional but recommended step is warming up the caches so that the first user who visits the recently deployed version doesn't have to wait until the page is rendered for the first time. Now that all is done, it's time to go live with the deployed version. I'd like to show you how this would look like in a GitLab CI CD pipeline. For those of you who don't know the structure of GitLab CI CD files, I'll shortly explain it. A pipeline has different stages, which are displayed horizontally. Stages have one or more jobs, which are displayed vertically. And jobs have one or more tasks, which you can't see in this pipeline's overview, but in the GitLab CI CD file. Let's have a close look at this file. I've kindly prepared a GitLab CI YAML file, which we will now go through step by step. At the top, you can see different stages that I have defined, build and deploy. Those are just names I have to use when defining the jobs. 
Here you can see the first job that will be executed when our pipeline starts. If you remember, as the very first step we wanted to clone our repository into the build workspace. GitLab does that automatically for every job. Therefore we can focus on installing our dependencies in our first job. In order to do so, we have to create only one single task, and that is running composer install. This does everything else for you under the hood. Once this is finished, the pipeline proceeds to the next step. Before the actual deployment, you should verify that the code you're deploying is actually working. One method to do this is running the PHP unit test suite, but of course there are dozens of other methods to test software out there. The deploy job is probably the one which will differ most from the tasks you would need to perform to deploy shopware to the desired infrastructure. In my case, I'm using Deployer. Deployer is a deployment tool for PHP which handles the whole release and deployment process and it's very customizable. Deployer is configured by a deploy PHP file which is placed in the root folder of this repository. Once we run the command dep deploy production, Deployer will prepare a directory structure on the target infrastructure, lock the deployment and upload the workspace. Furthermore, it will then generate the CSS and JavaScript assets by just executing the script which is located under bin build.js sh. Once this is done, I have configured Deployer to apply database migrations and warm up the caches. The last task is to switch the document root of the web server by changing its symlink of the path where we have just deployed our new version to. Deployer automatically takes care of that. You can find the Deployer PHP and GitLab CI YAML, which I've written for this video in the Shopware developer docs. All right, enough theoretical stuff, let's see this in action. This is the console output for the build job. You can see that Composer resolved the dependencies, downloads and installs the needed packages. The deploy job has some more tasks. Everything looks nice and fancy on that page as well. If any of the tasks of this pipeline would fail, you would immediately see it here and you could react based on the error messages. Isn't that awesome? Thank you for watching. <laughs>